welcome and thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm honestly still in shock over what I just witnessed. I uh, cannot describe the joy, the emotions, just the happiness that I feel uh, after Liverpool's 2-1 win over West Brom in the Premier League. I mean, just an unbelievable ending, a goal that no Liverpool supporter will ever forget. Alisson Becker scoring a glancing header at the death in the final minute of stoppage time, keeping Liverpool's top four hopes alive. I mean, the fact that Liverpool is still leaving in the race at this point is mind boggling. Thank you to all of the rivals who have kept Liverpool alive. Uh, but Alisson's goal was just sheer brilliance. An amazing cross, obviously, played in uh, by Trent Alexander-Arnold. Poor defending by West Brom. And frankly, Liverpool was lucky not to go 2-1 down a few minutes earlier uh, from a goal that was you know, ruled offside for West Brom. Very lucky break for Liverpool. But uh, the officiating from Mike Dean was predictably poor the whole game. I mean, the Premier League is just riddled with poor officiating. That's been a constant theme throughout the season, with and without VAR. But the story today, without question, is Alisson Becker. Uh, you have to get emotional watching his post-match interview on Sky Sports, dedicating that goal to his father. You just know he was there with him uh, in spirit when he scored that goal. Just what a tough season um, he's had, I'm sure, professionally and personally, Alisson Becker. Uh, look, that, that goal will immortalize him at Liverpool. It will be remembered forever. It was an incredible finish uh, to a really frustrating game to watch. I mean, Mo Salah did incredibly well to score that goal in the first half, seemingly making something out of nothing. You know, equalizing for Liverpool after Hal Robson Kanu uh, had opened up the scoring for West Brom. West Brom is a side that's already relegated, but you know Big Sam Allardyce loves to have a go at Liverpool and have a go at Jurgen Klopp. There was no way that they were going to roll over. They put out the best performance they possibly could. The Reds obviously should not have allowed this to be such a close game, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is that Liverpool takes the three points, and if they win their final two games, the Reds will more than likely do the unthinkable and find a way uh, to qualify for the Champions League. Just a wonderful day. So happy. Uh, Liverpool fans, let's rejoice in this moment and just watch Ali Sunbecker's goal at least 100 times. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you've watched for this long, you might as well subscribe to my channel.